This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Elon Musk says the Model Y will become the best-selling vehicle in the world next year. And he says it's already number one when it's measured by the revenue it generates. At the company's annual meeting yesterday, he told shareholders that Tesla is already at a 1.5 million vehicles a year run rate and will end the year at 2 million. And then he dropped a couple of bombshells. Musk says the company might announce a new assembly plant by the end of the year and could end up with 10 to 12 more plants that will make 1.5 million to 2 million vehicles a year. That puts Tesla right on track to reach Musk's stated goal of selling 20 million vehicles a year, which would make Tesla as big as Toyota and Volkswagen put together. Elon also dropped this interesting factoid. All the solar panels that Tesla has sold have captured more energy than it took to manufacture and charge all the Teslas that have ever been built. And that includes home charging. Can legacy suppliers make the transition to an electric future? Sure looks that way. Borg Warner is best known for making ICE components but it expects its EV-related revenue to hit $850 million this year, which is more than double what it was in 2021. And by 2025, its EV revenue is estimated to jump to $3.7 billion. It also acquired EV charging company Rhombus Energy Solutions for $130 million. Borg will supply high-voltage coolant heaters to two automakers, One, a global OEM starting in 2023, and the other, a Chinese startup in 2024. Borg didn't reveal the companies. And it will make a battery system for a European commercial vehicle maker beginning in 2024. But again, it didn't name the automaker. Chinese automakers are becoming more and more established. There are now seven Chinese OEMs on the Fortune 500 list. BYD is the newest entrant. The other companies include Geely, Dongfeng, SAIC, FAW, Beijing Automotive, and Guangzhou Automobile. In total, there are 23 automakers on the list, with Volkswagen, Toyota, and Stellantis being the top three. At Schaeffler, we pioneer motion. Electrifying mobility. Manufacturing smarter. Reducing CO2 emissions. Making energy production clean. Scheffler pioneers motion to advance how the world moves. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing. Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Here's something unexpected. Two of Europe's biggest oil companies are investing in EV charging stations in China. BP just formed a partnership with Avatar to build a fast charging network in the country. Avatar is an EV joint venture between automaker Chang'an and battery maker Cattle. The first stations will open this year in China's major cities, and by next year it will expand to 100 charging sites in 19 cities. The stations will have 480 kilowatts of power, which is enough to provide 200 kilometers or 124 miles of range in 10 minutes. BP also partnered with ride hailing company DD Chuxing back in 2019 to open an EV charging network. But it's not just BP. Earlier this week, Shell and NEO also opened their first supercharging and battery swapping station in China. The site is equipped with two 180-kilowatt charging piles and a battery swapping unit. Neo and Shell plan to open 100 swapping stations in China by 2025. And they'll jointly operate swapping stations in Europe starting later in the year. Commercial EV startup arrival is running into some problems. 
It has an interesting strategy where it wants to convert unused warehouses in the areas it plans to sell into little factories to build its vehicles. But it looks like it's trying to expand too fast for today's automotive environment. It eventually plans to have three vehicles in its lineup, but it's delaying its bus and car projects so it can save money and put more resources into its van, which is scheduled to start production in the third quarter. Investor uncertainty has caused a rival's stock price in the U.S. to slide 75% so far this year. But it's not all bad news for EV startups. Nikola said it delivered 48 tray battery electric trucks to customers in a three-month period, which was behind targets, but each one sold on average $55,000 above what the company was expecting. That helped it post a positive net income for the second quarter, which beat Wall Street estimates. Nikola also revealed it will start trials with its Trey Battery Electric and fuel cell trucks with Walmart this month and next. And things are looking a little more positive for Lordstown as well. It announced it was able to cut costs, and deliveries of its endurance pickup are still scheduled to start in the fourth quarter of this year. Volkswagen ID4 sales are down significantly this year in the U.S., but help may be on the way. The new base version of the EV, which has a much smaller battery pack, 62 kWh versus 82 kWh, also has a much smaller price tag. It starts a little under $39,000, including destination charges, but before the federal tax credit. That's about $5,000 less than models with the bigger battery, and the first examples are expected to start hitting dealer lots this fall. With global reach across three continents, Tajin Automotive Technologies make vehicles lighter, safer, and more eco-friendly. Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility. The future of Michigan is extraordinarily bright. Um, we have such incredible assets, and I think more and more we're realizing how to put those together in a way that's going to help this state really help lead the nation uh, as we go forward. Will independent repair shops be able to work on EVs? You bet, they already are, and soon they'll be able to do more thanks to a new scan tool developed by Mala that can perform diagnostics on EV batteries. They call it Mala Tech Pro, and it connects to the EV's charging plug, then downloads data to the cloud for the diagnostics. It can even analyze the coolant that's used with the batteries and predict when it needs to be replaced. It also generates what Mala calls an e-health report that forecasts the remaining expected life of the vehicle. And this enables independent repair shops to go after business beyond the internal combustion engine. BMW is locking up the raw materials it needs for its future EVs. It signed a deal with an Australian mining company to supply it with lithium hydroxide, which will be used to make batteries in Europe. Those batteries are likely to be used in BMW's next generation of EVs, which it calls New Class. According to CEO Oliver Zipsy, the first model will be a 3-series size sedan, and the second will be a sporty SUV. But that New Class won't be coming until 2025. BMW has relied heavily on converting old ICE platforms to make its EVs, so it's been a bit behind on launching dedicated BEVs. A lot of people have wondered how the cops will ever be able to pull over an autonomous vehicle. Well, an autonomous startup called Embark claims it just did the first public demonstration of a police cruiser pulling over a semi-truck. Embark has programmed its AV system to recognize the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle, as well as some other clues that it did not identify. Once the AV pulls over to the side of the road and stops, the police can get the vehicle's documents from a lockbox. The cops just have to call Embark and get a code to open it. 
and Barr tested the system for three months with the Travis County Sheriff's Department in Texas before it did this public demo. But that's the end of today's show and this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. Scheffler, we pioneer motion. Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility. And by the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.